Hello everyone and welcome to our first in a new series for Thought for the Day called The Importance of. Over the next five weeks, every Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to journey together to look at a few things we feel here at Sully or Christian Fellowship are really important for us to consider as we come out of the restrictions. We don't simply want to pick up where we left off. We've changed over these last 15 months. We've been shaped. Some of us, our hair is longer. Some of us have, have changed in other ways as well. And if we don't stop and reflect, we may miss something that's really important, especially as life starts to get a little bit busier again. And we may miss something that God has sh shown us and he wants us to keep hold of. Or perhaps we'll take something into this new season that God really wants us to lay down. Maybe it should never have been in our lives. Or maybe that was for the season that was locked down. And now this is something new. So each session, we'll encourage you to stop and reflect on what's been said. There'll be something for you to consider in your walk, in your journey, as there'll be things for us to consider as a church. So this first one is called the importance of the journey. We know that the Christian walk can be referred to as a journey. Paul calls it, I've, I've run the race, I've kept the faith. And over the, last, over the last year, we've come a long way. And I know through speaking to you, there's been many highs, but there's also been some really challenges and difficult points. The lockdown has affected us all in different ways. And as we appear to be coming out of restrictions, it's good to sit and to take stock of this last year, to reflect on the journey that you've been on. The Bible tells us to examine ourselves to see where we're at, 2 Corinthians 13. What has been good over lockdown? What has shaped me? How has God used it? What do I want to keep? And what maybe do I need to lay down? A few things from me, I don't know about you, but one of the things that's came out of lockdown is I love the walks that we've been going on. Seeing others too out simply for a walk, not in a hurry to get anywhere, just enjoying being out. I've been out with the family. I've been out, Claire and I have walked and we've connected in a different way. Or I've gone out for myself just for a walk to reflect and to think about things. But as things have owned up, as things have got a little bit busier, those walks have become less and less. Do you know, I want to keep those walks. I want to find time for those walks. But unless I'm intentional about it, then it's just going to revert back to the way it was. Maybe I'll be all right for the next few months as it's summer. But if I don't pick up that habit, then as soon as it gets a bit darker and a bit colder, I'll revert back. Maybe it's right. Maybe for you, it's not the walk. But maybe there was something that you've really valued out of a lockdown that you feel might be just slipping away. Well, don't let it. Right now, before things totally change, you have a choice. Hold on to what was good and find a way of keeping it. Something else for me that has been a bit of a bitter sweetness is the baptism of Zoom. Oh my word, we were so glad to have it, to be able to see people, to be able to connect in. And it's made it really, really easy to continue to do some stuff that we love. And I, I'd, I, I'm not sure it will ever totally stop. I think there's times for some interactions where it actually works best and it's just easier. But here at Sully or Christian Fellowship, we are about family. We're about that connection. And there's nothing better than that face-to-face, side-by-side interaction with people. And so for some of us, it may be just easy and convenient to roll out of bed and boot up the computer for my triplet. Or have tea on my lap while I'm in home group. Or prop myself up in bed while I watch church. But maybe it's become a little bit too convenient. And we're missing out on those real interactions that God wants us to have with one another that are enriching and fulfilling. And maybe we just need to manage the place of Zoom and the use of it in our lives. Last one from me. 
don't know. But when we were in our most strictest lockdown, all we could do was consume things. We couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't do anything. We consumed food. My word, my household consumed a lot of food. We consumed TV, media. We hung on the news. We waited every day for the five o'clock briefing to tell us a little something. There was very little opportunity outside my neighbours to give anything back. We simply consumed. And actually, there can be a right time to do that. We need to eat. We need to take things in. But Christ doesn't call us to be a consumer only. And we can do that all too easy in our Christian walk. There's so much out there with so much easy access. I just consume. I pick the bits I want. I let go of the things I don't want. Maybe now as we're coming out of lockdown, we want to see that shift. We're not simply consuming. We're looking now about how we can continue to interact with friends, with family, with the community. We're making that shift, that journey from what has been to what is going to be. I think of family. I think of our church family. And one of the things that the lockdown made it really hard to do was for us to really connect as one church family. Those Zoom times of prayer were wonderful. Over a hundred screens, 120 people on, but it still didn't feel the same. As we come out of those restrictions, we now got a wonderful time to reconnect with one another in a very real way. Have a look at this scripture from 1 Peter 2 verses 4 and 5. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Here at Solio Christian Fellowship, we are family. We are that spiritual house together. And I can't wait at the moment we're working, aren't we, to the 27th of June for that time when the family can come together. It's part of SCF's DNA to be together. And there is never a better expression of that than then when we're able to be together in one place. Over these next eight sessions, let's journey together as we reflect on the impact lockdown has had. What do we want to keep? Today, what has sparked some thoughts? It may not be the examples I've given. There may be things different to you. What do you need to work to keep hold of? And what may you need to let go of? Because the season has come to an end. Let's ready ourselves so that we can come physically together and be church family once again.